Let's try this again. <laughs> yeah, we're going live. Hey, everybody. Yeah, let's try this again. Um, due to technical issues, that kind of didn't record. Um, let's see where we're looking. And it's now it's working. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. <laughs> okay. There's always something with this. All right, everybody. Welcome to Scrollers Chat, episode 30. Uh, on my panel tonight, I have John Collins. Um, he's the only one on the panel, so he doesn't have to mute himself, but tell everybody where to find you, John. Hey, everybody, how's it going? From Wood, if I could, Wood Scroll Sawing and Woodworks up in Grand Prairie, Alberta. Uh, you can find me on Facebook on my uh, Facebook page, Wood calling at Woodworks or on my personal page, John P.A. Cousins. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, John. All right, everybody. On tonight's agenda, for tonight, we're talking about uh, pattern, pattern, no, sorry, patterns and uh, where to find them online, uh, be it free or for purchase. Um, Again, this is something that we've done a couple of times back on previous shows. Um, but the reason we keep doing it is because um, it's always good to refresh it with more designers as they come out. Because um, there's always new, de or, sorry, new designers coming out to the uh, scroll saw community. And, uh, you know, there's also a bunch of them coming out on Facebook every day saying, hey, look at this. I make patterns now. So there is just a bunch of designers out there. Uh, especially on Facebook, and Facebook is like one of the biggest places. Um, you know, I gotta click on me. <laughs> Facebook is one of the biggest places you can find uh, designers. Uh, you know, for free pattern designs. Uh, I think there's probably about four or five different groups on there, uh, just for free patterns. And uh, I know I run a couple of groups on there, um, and uh, there is just a ton of scroll saw groups. So if you guys want to find a group on Facebook, it's just very easy. Just type in scroll saw in the Facebook search and it, every group with that name or anything related to scroll saw will come up. Uh, the group that I run is scroll saw pattern cafe. You guys are more than welcome to come join us. I also run uh, scroll saw family, scroll saw community in uh, conjunction with my admin who is Donna Presley. Um, I also run let's scroll and there's a couple other groups on there. I know I'm forgetting, but um, there is a ton of scroll saw groups on Facebook. So that's a good place to start if you guys are looking for free patterns or uh, just to kind of, you know, like if you're just starting out and you're like, what is a scroll saw? If you guys want to see what we do, that's a good place to check out patterns and projects people make. Then you kind of know what people make and uh, see if you're kind of interested in it as a hobby or a lifestyle because for me, it became a lifestyle. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Over in the chat tonight, we've got... Miss Trace Keaton, hello. How are you tonight? John Costins, you're on the panel. Uh, scroll saw patterns for sale. That is Michael uh, Crawhorn. We're going to talk about him and his site tonight because he is going to be the first guy we go over because um, he's got a site and his patterns are really great. So we're going to go over him first. And uh, he's been helping me out with patterns for sawdust as well. So um, we're going to feature him tonight first on the uh, list. And Carol Schultz, hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Uh, she's a member of NEOS, which is my Northeastern Ohio Scrollers Club. I uh, hope you're doing well, Carol. And I actually went to high school with her son, uh, ironically enough. Uh, John Costins, you're actually on here. Let's see, I'm just scrolling down. Tracy Keaton, that seems like, oh, hey, there's Jamie. Hello, Jamie Page. Welcome to the chat. <clears throat> and let's see. That's everybody over there. Uh, yep, I'm presenting myself. Yep, yep, yep. All right, guys. Um, before we do anything, I just want to let you guys know, if you're a saw member, this should have come in the mail. If you did not get a Sawdust Summer Edition and you don't have this one, please make sure you contact me or uh, Misty to find out where the heck it's at because um, you should have it by now. And this issue here... Uh, I'm glad we actually have it because it's going to be a good sidebar for the next thing we talk about. This right here 
This flag is Michael's, and he runs scroll saw patterns for sale.com. That's his flag right there, and that's his cross right there. And then the other two patterns on this cover are uh, signed by me. But I want to show you guys um, this first part here. It's a letter from Misty to you guys. This is her last letter as president. Uh, if you don't already know, Misty stepped down due to health reasons. And uh, I am now the acting president. So if you guys have any questions, uh, please feel free to contact myself. Um, bear with me. I am still trying to figure everything out. So um, there's some things that I'm still asking Misty about and trying to get trained. So um, as of yet, I kind of, I just kind of got elected and uh, I still don't really have the lunch codes yet, so to speak. <laughs> they haven't given me the football yet, so to speak. <laughs> um, but I am uh, working on that and transitioning. So if you guys, like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a, give me a uh, holler. All right. So the next part of this, we got the Orange County Scrollers are in here. Um, and then we've got the North Star Scrollers are in here. So I like to put all those clubs in here. Uh, we feature our newsletters in here so you guys know what's going on with the clubs. Uh, this here is a review of the Northeastern Ohio Scroll Saw and Woodworking Expo this last May uh, that my club put on. This is a review I did of it. Uh, all the winners are on this page here. So you guys want to check it out. There's a two-page spread of the winners. Um, the overall winner for Best in Show it was uh, uh, having no brain fart at the moment. Oh, Harry Chavez, and he had his uh, entire sheet of dragon. I'm not sure if this will show up on the screen or not, but you guys can kind of see it there. That's his entire sheet of dragon, and it won. It won best of show. Uh, the next page here, we've got a blade chart breakdown from Rick Hutchinson. Uh, we're gonna go over and talk about his website. He's on my list, so we're going to talk about his website tonight, too. Uh, Scroll Saw Workshop is the next part. This is a uh, little article I did about Steve and the Scroll Saw Workshop. If you guys aren't familiar with, with Steve, um, but I'm not sure who in the Scroll Saw community doesn't know who Steve is, but there might be somebody out there. Uh, Scroll Saw Workshop, or sorry, Scroll Saw Workshop blogspot.com. This is website. Go there. It'll take you to the Scroll Saw Workshop website. As of right now, Steve has... Now, this might be old information because I wrote this a couple months ago, but Steve had 2,377 free patterns on there the last time I was on there and wrote this article. So uh, that's a lot of free patterns. So that's one of the websites we're going to go check out here shortly because uh, we're, it's one of the ones we're going to talk about for getting free patterns. Uh, the next article here is Pricing Your Work by Rick Hutchinson to tell you, teach you guys how to price your work properly. Um, this next area is like tips from the members for scrolling. And then this section starts the patterns. Uh, this first one here is obviously my lighthouse. The second one is the teapot. This was designed by Florence Fullen. And this next one is my eagle and the flag. And then the next one is Michael's cross. And again, Michael runs. This is hard to do on here. Uh, scroll saw patterns for sale.com. And Michael resides in Montgomery, Illinois. And he runs scroll saw patterns for sale.com. This is one of the crosses he donated to us. And um, his last name is Crawhorn. We're going to go over and we're going to check out his website here shortly. So um, the next page here is the yeah, this is, was designed by me. It's the I call it the big catch or whatever. It's the, just a uh, a baseball pattern uh, for summer. And then the next one is the, his flag, which was on the cover. And again, that's by uh, Michael again. And we'll show you his website in a minute. And that's my other White House, you guys. And then uh, the next page is the advertising rate. So if you guys are interested. Uh, and advertising with sawdust. That's where you find that information. Um, this page here is the sawdust word search. We added a word search. You guys can find the words. And on the next page, we have a, a uh, sawdust crossword puzzle. And then this page here is all the businesses that support saw as business members. 
So, um, for instance, Seiko, PS4 Machines, Judy Gale, Robert Studio, uh, Ben, and DTR Workshop, which is Carol Rami, Ricks, or Rick Hutchins, and Kathy Weiss Designs, and Fantanimals, which is Judy Peterson, and uh, of course, Pushkin Manufacturing has rejoined us. Uh, and then now, last but not least, this is always on here. This is our ethic motto for the club. And then the last page here is PS Wood Machines. Uh, this is one of the sites we're going to go to tonight. I'll show you guys for buying patterns uh, because they feature multiple designers in one in one site. So that's kind of one of uh, one of the cool things about that. And there's a couple different pages or uh, sites like that. And I think Scroller Online and some of those they have multiple designers that they sell on one page. So you can kind of uh, find everything in one site instead of going to multiple sites. But uh, but a better way is to go to the designer's page because they get that money directly. So we'll talk about that moving forward here in the show. All right. So first things first, how are we looking over in the chat there, John? Uh, all is well. It's Carol Schultz. Um, you, haven't, you haven't got what yet, Jamie? Your sawdust? You should have. Uh I will get with Misty and figure out why he didn't get it yet. There was one other person, I think maybe it was Al that didn't get one. Um, you didn't receive yours, Tracy? Okay. Um, we'll figure that out. That makes three people. Okay. Now I'll have to get with Misty and figure out what's going on. Uh, Michael got his. Okay. Oh, well, you don't know if your membership is up. If your membership is up, then you won't get one. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, I could check your membership for you after the show if you want. Hit me up on Facebook and I'll uh, look it up for you. Okay. Hope she gets well soon. Who is uh? Hope you get who gets well soon. I didn't see that. <laughs> John, that's funny. John said, if you guys don't get it, just do a screenshot and then print it out. <laughs> That's funny, John. <sighs> okay. I'm in the UK, maybe. That's why. No, you should get it, even in the UK, because it's saw the, it's Scroll Saw Association of the World, not Scroll Saw Association of the United States of America. So you should actually get one. I know they ship over there, so. I'm pretty sure maybe your membership is up. We're going to have to look, Jamie, and figure that out. Uh, Carol got hers. Need to get some European pigeons to fly across. The <laughs> yeah, we could get some pigeons and fly it across the pond. Might be cheaper on sending it uh, in the mail. That's hey, the money, that's money pipe online. You got to know about it, though. Yeah. Well, now that you say that, I, yeah. Now that you say that, I think it is. I remember it. Uh, it's the end of the year. It's up. Oh, okay. So then you should have got it still. It's at the end of the year. All right. First things first, we're going to start talking about these websites. Now, the first one we're going to go to is scrollsawpatternsforsale.com because that's Michael's. And uh, he is actually in the chat. So if you guys have any questions for him, you can direct them at him because uh, I believe he's in the chat with you guys. That's the guy that says Crawl Saw Patterns for Sale in here in the chat. So uh, we're going to go over to his website first, check things out. And uh, I'm going to screen share here real quick. And if for some reason you guys don't see me or don't see my screen, give me a holler in the chat and we will uh, fix that. All right. So we're going to go over here. I already have it pulled up, so... We're going to go over to the home page on a particular pattern. So give me a second. That's good on there. All right. You guys can see it okay? Yeah, that's good there. Okay. All right, Michael's here. Good. So if you guys have any questions, Michael is in the chat. That's the guy that says Scroll Saw Patterns for Sale. Uh, he's, and this is his website. So um, as you guys can see, there's some really cool stuff down here. I would guess that this is a um, 
go back over here. Oh, he offers, yeah, you know what? I forgot. He offers his monthly subscriptions and yearly subscriptions. Uh, you should, I forget exactly. Uh, Michael, how much is your subscriptions? Oh, here they are. There we go. Uh, patterns for everyone. Respect subscription. Subscriptions. You have yearly subscriptions for what I'm assuming is uh, patterns to be donated or to send to you in email format, uh, which I think is what he does. A yearly subscription though is twenty four ninety five, and a monthly subscription is three ninety five. All right, and then let's get back home. Well, if I screw it up, screw it up, be free. Or feel free to uh, hit me on the chat there and tell me if I screwed up. Correct me. <laughs> uh, and so I'm assuming that those subscriptions are to send you um, patterns monthly in your uh, email for the year or for the month, depending on which ones you buy. Uh, here we go. This is a cool pattern. And let's see. Now I've noticed that Michael, I'm assuming, has picked up a few other designers' patterns and he's selling them for them. So this pattern here is by, let's see if I can, I'm gonna go to this girl's page and take a look. Yeah. So, yep, so there's different, some of these are designed by different pattern designers. Wow, this Roadrunner is really nice. This. Mm -hmm. The other day, and I was like, ooh, that looks nice. Yeah. I'm assuming that well, that's not his name. So I'm assuming that this was created by oh. Valeria. Cartieri, sorry, Valeria, I cannot do the last name, Cartateri, Cartarelli, <laughs> no, Carter, -ri. Carter, -ri. okay, something like that, uh, anyway, this is a gorgeous pattern, There's, and I like that it's just the size, cut sizes here, and it tells you how many holes it has, it's really nice, uh, this is a very nice pattern, and it's only like three bucks, so, you guys can't beat that for the price wise. And yeah, he said he he says they have five artists that they're making their patterns for him. Okay, that's what I figured. You know, if I didn't see his name on it, I figured it was another designer that he just, just had him up there for them. He said we add new we add two site every week. Um, Brian asked you. Michael, if that's unlimited patterns for the subscriptions. And Jamie asked you if you have uh, requests. You know, actually, we should have done this where we've had you on the show, and then you could have been on the panel taking questions if you were comfortable with that. We might still do that one night. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys his website to get us started off on the right foot for places to find patterns. Because this site has tons of patterns. Uh, one of the other things he offers is free free patterns. Um, up here, if you guys go to the free pattern section, there is some free ones on here as well. Uh, like this Elvis is pretty nice. And the guitar pick. And here's the map of the United States. This POWMIA is pretty cool. Uh, this one we're going to use in this one here. We're going to use in the fall issue of Sawdust, if that's all right with you, Michael. This one here, we're going to use this in fall issue. Be on the cover. Mm, kind of like your flag picking your cross. It'll be on the cover for fall. Okay, so that's one of the free patterns on here. And what you do is you go to your add to cart, and then it'll make your cart. And you can pay for this. 
um, the way he does payments is through PayPal. Um, but for this, you don't have to pay. It, it does it through PayPal. You just go in and you hit all the buttons and it, you know, when you go through PayPal, it says zero and then you just hit, you know, uh, whatever you do with PayPal, you just hit transaction complete or whatever you do, confirm. And it doesn't charge you, but it still goes through PayPal to let him know that he wanted that pattern. And then very shortly after that, it will be in your mailbox for your email. So uh, I've downloaded this pattern already previously. Um, but this is one of the free ones that he has on here. Um, and I wish he was on because I know he's got uh, something going on with the um, Seiko saw that he has. I think it's a uh, some kind of contest for a Seiko. I'll click on that in a second after I load this. I just wanted to show you guys some more of his stuff. So all these are free right here. And uh, you guys can download them. And uh, however, if you guys come over here and use some of this free stuff, make sure you buy a couple patterns from them too. Uh, so we uh, give him some love because uh, he's got some great stuff on here. Not just him, but all the, all the designers that he has on here. Uh, this right here is the Seiko scroll saw raffle he has going right now. And I think this is if you buy a subscription to his site, you're in, you can enter in this enter for this uh, saw. So um, if you guys are interested, I think it costs $1 per uh, I'm thinking the first one. He has to tell me here. But I think the first one uh, how are you doing this one, Mike? Is the first one after you subscribe free for the entry and then a dollar after that, or is it just a dollar for everyone? But this is his uh, subscription. When you sign up for a subscription, you can enter to win this uh, ST21 scroll saw from Seiko. Uh, you logins here currently have access to all the downloads. Okay, so uh, he just answered your question, I believe. So do you pay? Yeah, I, he just answered your question, a couple of you guys. He said that. I wonder, uh, what, the, I wonder what the details on that. Um, but he said that what you guys do is you get access. You log into your account and you have access to all the downloads once you pay. So you just go on the site and download the ones you want. Uh, he said you can buy a ticket to enter or you get 20 free entries with a yearly subscription. That's the way he's doing it. Okay. So it's $1 to enter if you don't sign up for a subscription or if you get a subscription with him, it's 20 free entries. Hey, Ron Norris. Welcome to the party. <laughs> click, click. Just for you, buddy. <laughs> All right, so that's his website, and if you guys want to check it out, it is scrollsawpatternsforsale.com. I had, did not go through like all of the patterns on here because there are so many, but just make sure you guys come over here and give him some love. Check it out. Buy some stuff. His patterns aren't that much. They're only like three bucks, people. It's not that bad. Come over here and give him some love. Uh, let's see. So that's number one on our list. Thank you, Michael. And I know he's in the chat, so I'm going to stop sharing while I figure out. <clears throat> uh, yes, your requests are free. Yeah, he said he does request, Jamie, to answer your question over there in the chat. All right, so the next site we're going to talk about is going to be one that <laughs> we all know very well because he used to be on the show all the time, and he still comes on. Yes, yeah, Mr. Charles Daring, and that's, uh, I believe it's woodenvisions.com. Woodenvisions.com.
Let's see here. As soon as it comes up, I will screen share. Here we go. All right, guys. Let's make sure I click myself. Nope, see, I didn't click myself. There. Now, I'm going to click myself. All right. So this is Charles Daring's website, woodenvisions.com. Here you guys can see right on the web main page here, if you guys want to get one of his scroll-on hats, one of the scroll-on shirts, they're right here. You can buy them from him. Also, if you want to come over here, and he has a setup for custom patterns. I believe that's the request. If you guys want to request custom patterns from him, uh, at last I talked to him, he was not doing patterns anymore because he was cutting stuff and making more money cutting stuff, custom stuff for people. Uh, but then I saw that he made a new pattern, so I'm, <laughs> I don't know where he's doing. But, uh, you know, as with all of us, you know, life changes, you know, one week and you're doing this and the next week you're doing something else. You know, what you think is going to make money for you might not make money for you and you kind of got to roll with the punches. So, uh, you know, one week you're making stuff for people and the next week you're selling patterns again. You got to do whatever pays the bills. So, uh, that's pretty much where Charles is at with this, but I figured we could put this in here anyway to give Charles some love and to show you guys his website because he always helps us out on here. Um, let's see. We want to go to the shop, I believe. Can't see where I'm thinking. I think we want to shop. Let's try that. Let's see. No, that's that part. Shop, video, custom paintings, about. Oh. Fair ones. Anything. Maybe I don't see his patterns right now anywhere. Do you guys see his patterns anywhere? Well, you can come over here and check out his site. Um, maybe he took them yeah. down. I don't, I don't see them. Maybe he took them down. I don't know. They're available. Bearwood.com. Yeah. Certain ones are available through bearwoods.com. So, yeah. So, I think Charles kind of took them down. Maybe. I don't know. But, anyway, this is his website. So if he ever changes his mind and comes back and starts selling patterns again, this will be the website to go to to uh, check out and buy patterns from him again. I hope he goes back to making them because he made some really nice stuff. All right. So moving on from Charles, the next one I'm going to show you guys is going to be... Give me one sec. I'm going to pull up this website next. Okay, guys. Now that it's loading, the screen share again. Oh, was the uh, we got any questions or anything over in the chat right Your now? Your internet's about as slow as mine is now. Well, I'm running off of Ethernet, so and it always slows down when I'm screen sharing for some reason. Hi, right. can you guys see my screen? All right, John. I think for there right now, you're still on the other side. Yours on on our on our page. Okay, hold on. How about now? Is it working now? Yep, yeah, you're okay. out there. All right, next one we're going to go over is Sheila Landry Designs. So her website is SheilaLandryDesigns.com. Uh, this is her website and all her stuff listed down here. You can see all of her beautiful, amazing patterns. And if you, here's a couple of free ones over here in the free pattern section. 
Um, I have actually bought patterns from Sheila before, similar to this, but it was like pumpkins all around here. It was like a Halloween one, I think. Maybe it fall leaves. And I cut it out and I put a fall candle on it. Uh, and I put it up at, at Halloween time. And I also bought from her, um, she has shamrocks. So I bought shamrocks from her at one time and uh, printed out all the shamrocks when I used to sell at uh, the Irish Fest down here in Cuyahoga Falls. I used to sell uh, shamrocks and we used to cut out shamrocks and sell them to people as part of the Irish Fest. So uh, we don't really do that as a club anymore, but you guys can see these are... This one's free, actually, if you guys want to come here and download it. Um, it's actually a really nice pattern, if you like doing those candle things. Trying to make a good present. All right. So let's check out. Let's pick one at random, John. What do you guys want to see? What kind of pattern? Let's see. Wildlife pattern, Christmas pattern, box pattern. Let's go with Halloween, since it's coming up. Let's show off some of our Halloween patterns. Unfortunately, it's coming up. All right. So here you go. Here's some of her Halloween stuff. Um, we got Gothic-inspired Halloween ornaments. Um, it's a trick-or-treat. Ghouls welcome. Haunted Halloween. Haunted Enter and Halloween pattern set. So I'm just scrolling down and taking a look. There's some cool stuff in here. See, this is kind of something similar to what I had. I think mine had, this one has, uh, this is blue or something, but mine had pumpkins, I think. But it was similar to this candle right here. This is cool. This whole skeleton that you can cut out and hang up on your door or your wall. Oh, here it is. I found it. This is the one that I cut out. I like this project. Yeah, that's the one that I cut out. How many I've ordered from her and Keith, eh? So, but, you know, my, yeah. my filing cabinet is full of so many patterns from everybody. I know I'll never, never have enough time to cut them all. Yeah, and there's a... Uh... And I talked to Keith because there's, uh, unfortunately, is a another website, which we're not even going to mention on here tonight, um, that's selling something very similar to theirs, the word in word, or the word in like this style, for example. And uh, you know how you have the, you have this word, and then you have a word inside that word, you know, cut out. And, you know, they did it. You know, they did it and designed it. And Keith designed it and spent a long time designing it. Now everybody goes and, like, tries to find the same text and rips them off. <laughs> so, you know, needless to say, you guys, just come over here and buy one from these guys. It's not that much to begin with. I mean, this set here is, like, 35 bucks, and you get 16 of them. You know, I, I, if you do the math, that's not very much money for these guys that they're making off this. And uh, you can see... If you go down here, this might be it. Turn here and see if this is, yeah. So see, this is the what I'm talking about. So you have the word, and then you have the text inside it. Uh, it's something that, you know, Keith came up with pretty much, and a lot of people are knocking it off of him. And uh, you guys can, don't know this, but you can actually come over here and contact these guys. And they'll make you something with this, this exact text. And you just tell them and you want something custom, and they'll make it for you. And it's not that much money. And these guys, you know, they work really hard. So, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. I mean, some people like, like to just rip it off, you know, the style and whatnot, without even coming over here and buying one from these guys. So make sure you give them a little love by coming over here. And... Uh, ordering directly from them uh, if you want this style. And pattern. I know, I also know that with with uh, Sheila and Keith, that if there's ever any problems, you can call them right away, too. Right, yeah. And Sheila and Keith are two of the nicest people you will ever meet. And uh, they work very hard 
on their patterns and their website. So it's unfortunate when people have to, you know, feel they have to rip them off instead of supporting them by buying a pattern. So just make sure you come over here and uh, give them some love, all right? And uh, make sure uh, not, yeah. And uh, we'll go over and I'm going to exit out of this one for now. I'm gonna go over, it's going to be uh, Steve Good's website, which is Scroll so, uh, Workshop. Scroll some workshop. Uh, okay. uh, I don't know why that's not bookmarked. I should have it bookmarked. There we go. All right. So, am I still sharing? No. That's a hit share again. Okay. Back to me again. All right. So, this is Steve Good's website, scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. Uh, many of you already know Steve and you know this website well. Um, some of you that are just starting out in the scroll saw community, or don't know who Steve are, or are his, don't know who Steve is, yeah, are, I can talk tonight. Uh, this is his website and his blog, and he has all sorts of free patterns in here, but he also has YouTube tutorials to get you started if you're a beginner, and, um, you know, tech, and even if you're not, there's techniques on how to do cutting properly, you know, cut circles, cut straight lines, um, you know, all sorts of fun stuff. If you go to this YouTube button, it'll go to the YouTube page. And if you go to the pattern catalog, it goes to his pattern catalog. And if you go on here, the wooden bases, it'll take you there. And he also has pattern DVDs now for sale as well, which I think is basically all of the, he can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I think it's all of the patterns on the pattern catalog on DVD. So we're going to go to the catalog first. Now keep in mind, all these are free. Uh, he doesn't charge for them. Uh, he works really hard putting these out for for us, and uh, he um, really loves what he does. So it shows through his uh, work because he does some really amazing stuff. Uh, let's see here. I haven't been on here in a little bit. Seems like he's added a few things since I was on here last. Uh, let's see. What kind of pattern do we want to look at, John? Uh, well, since uh, Halloween's coming up, let's go with that. What's that? Let's go with holidays, since that's coming up. So, you know, this is just some of his holiday stuff. Obviously, here's a Halloween one. Uh, Merry Christmas. Like, for instance, let's do the Halloween one. Now, if you want to, now for those of you that have never been here, in order to uh, download a pattern from here, you just hit download. And these are all PDFs. And they'll download right to your computer for you. And then you can just print it out. It'll show you that page, and then here's the pattern. And it'll you can print it out and go right to town and scrolling it out. Um, so make sure you guys come over here uh, and give or check out Steve's website if you're looking for patterns. There are tons of different uh, categories. That's just his holiday one. He's got ones that are tools, miscellaneous baskets, boxes, bowls, candle holders, clocks, flowers, sports, religion, desk accessories, home decor, musical stuff, plaques, portraits, what are games and puzzles, guns and knives, jewelry, kitchen stuff, military stuff, animals, novelties, ornaments, toy signs, art, western, transportation stuff, plates and shelves. Um, so if you guys are looking for anything in particular, let's go to tools once and just take a look. Usually has some cool little knickknacks in here. Uh, here's a laptop stand. Here's the scroll saw knob for a scroll saw. This guy, <laughs> Dean Walt, the little guy that lifts up your arm for you. Um, the Dewalt on the scroll saw. What a mallet's cool. All right, so yeah, make sure you guys come over here and check out his website. Uh, it's definitely not necessary, but 
because uh, Steve does this for uh, free for us. It's definitely not necessary, but if you want to ever, ever support him in any way, you know, send him some stuff. He has a donate button on here, right here. Uh, you guys can go to that, and you can actually donate to him if you feel so inclined. Not necessarily by any means. You have to, but just in case you feel so inclined. Also, there is the pattern DVDs, I believe he sells, so that's probably another way to support him if you buy a CD from him. Uh, I'm sure you get some of the money. So um, make sure you uh, check out this link here, and you can buy a DVD from him. And uh, that is Steve's website. Actually, for just a second, let's click on his YouTube. And uh, I just want to show you guys his YouTube site just real quick. That way you guys can check it out. Uh, here's his YouTube, Steve Good, or SD Good. And, uh, for instance, here's some stuff that he's caught. Here's an iPod, scroll saw magnifier, wooden enclosure, coin cutting project, iPhone magnifier stand, getting started in the scroll saw hobby. This is more for you guys that are beginners. Um, cutting out that chain project. There's creating with Corel Draw. So there's, there's a few different videos on here to get you guys started in the right direction if you're just starting out. And then if you're not, there's a few on here for you, too. Uh, so that's Steve's website. I'm going to take it out of this. Oops. I'm going to stop sharing for just a second. All right. I'm just checking out the uh, chat real quick. Uh, JP says, yeah, I don't think he sells patterns anymore. Yeah, he doesn't sell patterns anymore. That would be uh, Charles Daring. Then he ever took Frankie. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if he's selling them anymore or not, because like I said, I saw he had one up there on uh, the one site the other day. So I'm not sure. Uh, I know Bear Woods has a few of his stuff for sale, but um, if he ever does go back to selling patterns, that's where you guys would find him at. And uh, that's where you guys would find his patterns over there in the woodenvisions.com. Uh, she has so many awesome patterns. Yeah, you're referring to. Um, oh, I'm having brain fart. <laughs> she, oh, you're referring to Sheila and uh, Keith. Yeah, they got some great stuff over there. Uh, Tracy, have a good night. Thank you very much. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, Jim Brashears. Hello, Jim Brashears. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I just seen these guys always now because I had the other screen open. So I'm answering you guys' questions a little behind the chat here. But uh, I just cut that one from Steve Good the other night. Which one did you cut from Steve Good? He has a bunch on there. My favorite recent one for him, though, is the Oreo. I uh, think that one's too cool. <laughs> All right. So we went through, so far we've gone through Michael's site, which is scrollstuffpatternsforsale.com. Uh, make sure you guys go over there and check his stuff out. Charles' site, um, but we're to the conclusion that Charles doesn't have his patterns on there. So you'll probably have to go to bearwoods.com to get it. Um, or bearwood.com to get it. And then Sheila Laundry's website. And we went to Steve's website. We went, and then the, um, all right, so the next ones I'm going to go over are the Antarctica artists. So we're going to start with, if you guys are into Antarctica, we're going to do some Antarctica artist websites real quick. And that'll be the next thing we do here. So I'm going to. Figure out. Uh, let's see. Okay. Here we go. 
All right, so I'm going to go over to you, uh, Bruce Worthington's site, which is, I think it's on Tarshian.net. I believe that's his website. All right. All right, guys. So right now we're going to go over to Antarctica.net. So as soon as this loads, this is uh, Bruce Worthington's website. And you guys can see he has some information here. If you click on this right here, right here, this Antarctica Patterns by Worthington House, click that. And it will take you to a separate page. On that page, you'll start to find all of his interior patterns for sale. And you guys can check out some of his stuff right here. See this beautiful owl and uh, this angel. There's some of his stuff. <laughs> I love this gnome sleeping. That's funny. Or uh, is that a gnome or a dwarf? I don't know. Something like that. Maybe it's a gnome. <laughs> it's so cool. Anyway, uh, and then there's some deer down here and moose and stuff. Uh, so if you guys check this out, uh, this right now, this website is entirechia.postcentric.com, but the best way to go is to just to hit entirechia.net and then click on that thing I just showed you right under on that back page. Here, let's go back one. Uh, as you can see, this is entirechia.net, his main page. And then if you go here, so, so this is how it loads. And then if you look right under where it says Worthington House, and then this number here, right under that, if you click that entire sheet patterns, that takes you over to the other page. That's where you find all his patterns for sale. Um, we're just gonna click one randomly. Since Christmas is coming up, we'll use that one. Uh, just for giggles. And you can check out some of his stuff that he has on here Christmas-wise. Uh, you guys should recognize he, this one has been in the uh, Scrollish Choice magazine a few times, or at least these guys were all in there, the three penguins. And then this one was in Scrollish Choice as well, the angel. But you guys can see all of his beautiful work. Uh, this one's my favorite right here. Uh, this is First Christmas. It's Jesus, baby Jesus with the sheep in the manger, and Santa with the baby Jesus. This is 146 pieces, and it's uh, very pretty. And I think um, it's only like these patterns range in price from about five bucks to ten bucks. Some of them are a little more, some of them are a little less. But he has some really nice stuff in here, and uh, this is just his holiday stuff. But if you go and um, Go back to the page we were just on here in the main page. For instance, if you want to find what else we got here, let's go scenery. Oops, that's not what I want to open. Scenery and people. We'll go down here and check this one out. Oh, that's beautiful. That angel with the cross. There's the lighthouse. There's Noah's Ark. Uh, there's Jesus knocking on the door. Another lighthouse. I love that lighthouse. That's pretty. Uh, there's a little boy and his dog. That's cool. Some roses. The nativity. That one. It's really nice. Check this one out. That is gorgeous. And... Okay, that is, so this is just some really nice work in here. I'm just gonna scroll down really fast. Here is the Old Country Mill, that's pretty cool. The sailboat sailing home to the lighthouse. Country life, covered bridge, the angel, the church, a couple of ships. Oh, I like the teapots. Making friends. But you guys can come on here and check this out on your own time. Um, but like I said, just go to entarchia.net. That's his website. That's where you can find all of his inf all his uh, patterns for sale. 
and uh, that's Bruce's website. Hi, Dave Hart. Welcome to the show. Uh, let's see. That's kind of it for right now. The rest of that I already got read before. Okay. Um, let's see what else we got going. Let's go on over Bruce's. Um, the next one, we're going to go to a, a website um, which sells. Now, of course, you can go to Kathy Weiss's website and buy her patterns directly from her. Um, and I'll show you guys her website real quick. Um, but there is a website that I'm going to show you guys that sells her patterns, Garnett's patterns, and my patterns. And then we get a portion of the sale. So let me um, pull up her website real quick. And then I'll screen share with you guys. All right, got her website open. Now we're gonna screen share again and click on myself. All right, now this website is Kathy Weiss's website. Um, Kathy, it's www.kathyweiss.com. Pretty easy to remember. Uh, you can get on here and you can check out all of her stuff. She has some books you can buy on here as well. If you want Intarsia books, this one's cool, Intarsia birds. Um, some pairs. Okay, let's go to her catalog. And we can check out all her stuff here. Uh, one thing that Kathy has that she seems really, really, uh, it's more of a niche for her, is that she has a lot of different species of Antarctica dogs. Um, and I mean, if you name the species, and she has one for it. That's why I pulled this up, and it's kind of something, a little niche she has. And uh, so there's an Airedale Terrier head. There's an Airedale head, an Airedale Terrier, full body. So if you guys look at all these, these are all the dogs she has. This is not all of them. This is just one, one group of them. Um, but you can see she has a bunch of dogs on here. They're all listed up here. Uh, Alaskan, I mean, I'm not even going to read all these, but there's a Chihuahua, the Jack Russell, there's a Golden Retriever, a Spaniel, a German Shepherd, Labrador, Springer, you name it. There's like one section of dogs, two sections of dogs, three sections of dogs, four sections of dogs, puppies, so that's five sections of dogs. So, yeah, so there's a lot of dogs on here. She has. Uh, animals also, but one thing just kind of like stands out for her is she has dogs in every breed imaginable. So if any guys want to ever get a customer that says, I want you to make me an Antarctia dog and I don't need this breed, so she's probably the person to go look for it. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see everything she has on here. Um, trying to go up here. Let's go to animals once and just check out that. Okay, well, these are all her animals, and you guys can check out some of her stuff. There's your rhino, a sleeping grizzly, butterfly. The butterfly's really cool. There's sleeping raccoons. Cool. Oh, I love the shark, the great white shark. There's a polar bear and cub right here. <laughs> An alpaca. She has two alpacas. Hey, John, look, a sea turtle. <laughs> yeah, sea turtle. Uh, no tortoise, though. Let me scroll up and see if she's got a tortoise. Um, uh, she's got, she has two tortoises. Do you see where it was at? No, I've seen them on her site before. I actually, I, I actually tried to get her to custom make me one of my uh, my own tortoises. Thanks. It's uh, like somebody else is going to do a pattern too, and they never got around to it, eh? Okay, so this is actually some of the pieces I believe she cut. And... Uh, of her work. Check this out. These are gorgeous, man. 
There's the courses. Wow. This one's really cool. Wow, look at that one. Look at all those deer. And, uh, so that's her website. Again, it's uh, well, kathywise.com, I believe. www.kathywise.com. Now, for some reason, this is coming up in Tarshia on a different one, but it just their main page is www.intarshia.com. Or, entire. <laughs> Now I can't talk tonight. www.cantywise.com. All right. That's Canty's website. Uh, John, can, is there any website that uh, you want to feature? Oh, my. Off the top of my head, I can't really think of anybody else. I know there's lots out there, though, but. Uh, I have oh, okay. I have three more websites that we're going to go over with you guys, and then uh, that pretty much be it for the show. So the next one I want to show you guys is Burnett uh, Burnett Hall's website, and uh, Burnett Hall's website. Sabershiabird.com, where I can't even talk to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's sawbird.com, www.sawbird.com. Uh, this is a Garnet Hall's Intarsia Patterns website. So, you will find over 200 Intarsia Patterns on his website. And he has. Oh, he also has scroll saw patterns too. That's cool. So he has intarsia patterns and scroll saw patterns. I did not know that. I learned something new. I always thought he just did intarsia. <laughs> okay. Um, intarsia patterns. Here you go. These are all his intarsia patterns. Uh, that one is pretty cool. That would sell up there by you, John. Yeah, he's down in uh, Estevan, Saskatchewan. I was uh, going to stop and see him a couple months ago when I was coming back from Winnipeg, but it was like a six-hour drive out of my way down and back up. Yeah, well, he came out to Iowa, uh, not this year, but the year mm -hmm. before, and uh, that had to be a long drive for him. <laughs> so, And this is Rocky Raccoon. This was in Scrawler. Choice magazine and this uh, baseball player here too was in Scrawler's Choice also and trying to see yep so if you guys come here and you check out his website uh, there's different categories you just select the category you want to look under and that's where you'll find them. For instance, I'm just going to pick one at random. Say Old West. Check out his Old West patterns. Uh, these are pretty cool. I kind of like this. There's the Bull Rider. That's pretty cool. All right, this is his website. Remember, in Sauber.com, he also sells scroll saw blades. Uh, his blades are similar to Flying Dutchman's. Um, they're called Sauber scroll saw blades. If you guys want to check them out, they're on here as well. Um, these are his prices. Three, gr three gross mixed or matched blades. Uh, any dozen is five bucks. Any three dozen, eleven. Uh, one half gross is seventeen ninety five. Gross, maybe twelve dozen. 
Yeah. Uh, 34. And the prices are in Canadian dollars. So you can convert that over to whatever your currency is right here with this assistant. I think uh, American is like three bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so it seems more on here because it's in Canadian prices. So in American yeah. dollars, it's a little less. Uh, scroll sub late ordering down here. It's got the different sizes and lengths that he sells, different teeth. Shows you guys right there on the different teeth for it. Uh, I have cut with these, and I actually like them a lot. Uh, the only thing that I uh, didn't like about them is that I um, I ran out of them too soon. <laughs> Because uh, I was having fun cutting with them. And that's not really his fault. I just uh, loved them so much that I did a lot of projects with them. All right. And now I don't have any more. Sad. Let's see here. And over here, I think he has an entire CR 101. I think this is uh, kind of the learn. Yeah. So it's got some basic introduction stuff here for you guys. If you want to give yourself a little lesson online from sources for wood, start your basic steps, all that. Hey Lee, the uh, the current conversion from American to Canadian is twenty six dollars for equals thirty four ninety five Canadian. Okay, so if it's uh, on here, if it's thirty four fifty. Yeah, so thirty four fifty is uh twenty six twenty Canadian or twenty six twenty six twenty American. There you go. I might just hit the back button like twelve times. Go back. Okay then. <laughs> oh, J Jamie also mentioned Sue May. <clears throat> yeah, I was gonna do Sue May too. I just uh. She was on my list. Uh, I wanted to show Garnett's first. Um, now that he mentioned that, let's go there. And I'll show you guys to me real quick. Um, so it's been a while since I was on Sue's site. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Anyone remember it? Scrollsawartist.com. There you go. Scrollsawartist.com. That's Sue May's website. Uh, and we'll uh, take a look at her site real quick too. Okay, it's artist. Um, Okay, go back to screen share. Okay, website, scrollsawartist.com. I have ordered from Sume a few times on certain things. Uh, I think I got a secure, uh, like a security cross. And, uh, I, told, hey, and I wrote her and I asked her if uh, she had a security one and she had a fleece one and didn't have a security one, so she made me actually made me a security one. So, um, but uh, this is her website. We're gonna start on the scroll sub patterns. So this is some of her stuff right here, and you can see all the different categories over here. Uh, let's just pick one at random. I'm going to go to holidays since that's coming up. Show you guys some of your so I got projects coming up. I guess we started on the holiday page when we came in. Okay. So, but there is <laughs> over eight pages of the holiday stuff. So, I'll tell you what, we'll just go. I'm going to click on eight so you guys can see some of her stuff. These are pretty cool. They're like little trees. Oh, a candle holder. That's pretty nice.
Um, I kind of like that one. This one in. This is pretty nice. Actually, guys, I think one more page. But uh, looks like some Easter stuff in here. Yep. All right. And then I guess he has some Tarsha stuff here too, it says. So let's check that out. Okay, so I'm Tarsha and segmentation, a little bit of that. Okay, so it's kind of like segmentation. So that's pretty cool. Some nice stuff. Um, if you guys come over here and check out her stuff, I think you can, uh, I'm pretty sure she has a newsletter too, you guys can sign up for. I'm um, pretty sure because sometimes I get it. Uh, it's a monthly newsletter, I think. Yeah, sometimes I get it from her. I get it, and then I get her her, her sales on her uh, her patterns and stuff, too. I guess they have a YouTube channel now, too, it says right here. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Let's click it once and see. Yep, squirrelsartist.com, YouTube channel. Oh, going to sign up. Subscribe. But this is all of her YouTube stuff. That's cool. So if you guys want to check her out on YouTube, www.squirrelsartist.com on YouTube. Or actually, her name on here is, I think, Sumei. So just go on here and subscribe to her, I guess. All right. So it's, yeah, so this would be her name. It's down here, Sumei. Look that up, and if you want, subscribe. All right, so that's her site. Oh, wait, she has carving patterns on here, too, if you guys, anybody carves. So um, I clicked on that, so it's taking a second. Ah, see, some carving patterns for everybody, for our carver friends out there. And she does have some freeze scroll saw patterns. I just can come on here and get those too. Uh, Jamie just sent me a text. Alex Fox, yeah. Yep, Alex Fox. My Alex too. All right, so these are some free ones you guys can download and check out. Here's a couple of pages of free ones. So just come over here and check out uh, her website, which is scrollsawartist.com. And. Uh, Check out all because she has some really nice stuff over here. Maybe I'm going to uh, Jamie, do me a favor and send that link to me. Well, let me send it in the chat window. Oh, wait, maybe it won't because yeah, I don't know if you can put links in there. Let me um, and send it somewhere and now I gotta find it. I think you send it to Facebook. And I don't have Facebook open. Uh, do me a favor, Jimmy. Send it again to Facebook, and it'll pop up on my screen. I just can't pull Facebook up right now, or this whole thing will start acting up. Uh, yeah, Mike Williams. There's another designer. He has a bunch of great stuff, too. Uh, what I could do is maybe just look up. Uh, it's alexscrollsaw.wixsite.com. Okay, we'll go there and check that out. Alex, scroll saw. Okay. Alex, wixsite.com forward slash scroll saw patterns. Oh, no, it's wrong. It's no longer up. Yeah, that's an error. <clears throat> Hang on. We'll try this a different way. I'm on screen sharing right now, right? Screen share. No, right. 
just gonna try to Google it. Uh, he got his other one here. It's, uh, his, his Etsy shop as well. It's got his new stuff on there. Here it is. Here it is. I got it now. 